Um, this is something I found yesterday, which you might find very, very useful, don't matter where you are in the world. Um, what it does is it uses numbers instead of addresses for locations, as you can see here. I've got a number for a location. So it uses, like, in brackets, the country code, which is the same as the telephone code, so you know which country it's in. Very simple. But then each location will get a six-digit number. There's different numbers for different types of location. For example, I think premium ones only have four, something like the Eiffel Tower. Um, but what you do is you simply click on the button there, and then you'll basically put whatever location you are, and then you just add it. It will then, because even now, as you can see, although I've got my house location here, wherever this is centralized, I can actually add another location. Now, there is already Uber using this, and there's also um, a, one of the major couriers in Europe using it. Where I found this useful here, as I've just sent to somebody I know that gets, well, he's lost three parcels in the last, last two weeks. Um, <coughs> the courier uses, actually uses this app. Now, where we live, they've got this, we've got the same problem. This development may have 100 houses in it, but as far as Google and everything else is aware, there's nothing here. There's no houses and nothing. Um, so there's no address, there's no street number, nothing. So even these blocks, the blocks don't mean anything to Google. It doesn't understand them because there was never a address for this um, property or the 100 properties in it. Um, now, I'm not 100% sure where the original property was or if there ever was one or whether this was just a field. But the point being is, like the thing was trying to install the internet, they couldn't find it because it simply doesn't exist because the numbers go like one, two, three, four. And then there's loads of places where there is no numbers because there used to be fields or something and they've never been updated or they haven't adopted it or people haven't paid the right tax or whatever. <coughs> there's a lot of properties missing. With this app, you can give the number and then the app can be downloaded by anybody. It's called a Navi address. And it works pretty much anywhere. And I thought about this myself. This is fantastic for here because now we not only do you put the information in there, so you, you give it a GPS location, but you can fill in second floor, blah, 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 all the other bits and pieces that people may need. The other thing is because it's a number, it doesn't matter what language it's in. It's very easy to swap between them because obviously even if somebody doesn't understand numbers, yeah, say in Arabic, they still can use the same phone and it can translate into multiple languages because numbers are generic. They're, everybody's got numbers. Um, so it's a very useful one. But then I thought about the Philippines as well. And a lot of people have no address whatsoever. <coughs> they get mail delivered to the bakery. Not that it's going to the bakery, but it's the only address. And then behind it, there's houses everywhere. Because um, they'll send something to the bakery and say, oh, I'm looking for Miss whatever, and the baker will go, five houses left, two back, one across. That's, that's how bad it is. Um, but this, you can actually rig it, so it was actually set up for exact locations, and you can add them all. Um, so it's, A, it's more accurate than uh, you'll find with Google, in the sense that you're manually putting it in for a start, but you can put your business information on there, which means like a lot of things like small bakeries and that can actually put all their info on there. Um, the other side of that being, if you're traveling, if you've got a hotel location with a six digit code, you can give it to the taxi driver because they could follow your GPS or they, well, as what's happening like with Uber, they're already adopting it because it's more accurate. Bypasses, language barriers and stuff like that. Mail delivery, same. Because the thing with mail delivery, it's not like here in Spain where you could have Jamines Street. Is it Jamines with a G or a J? The same as like Jesus. Jesus is actually Jesus. So you get that <laughs> confusion about which one is which, even when people are speaking in English down to local locations and whatever. But with numbers, even if they're speaking to you in Spanish, they can still write it down. One, two, three. Very, very simple. 
fantastic idea. And I said, I come across it yesterday and I thought, I've got to put this on my channel because it's very, very useful. And you can download it, it's free. Um, I'm not plugging this for payment, by the way. I just uh, found it and I thought that would be so practical. Um, it's already got a lot of locations already on there, but even just for a localized thing for you and your friends, where your local bar is and where your local restaurant, is, even like La Mata, there's several restaurants along the seafront, but their addresses are actually the, the buildings behind, which is the road. So those locations are actually incorrect. That's a prime example of something I can alter with it. Um, but it's called Navi Address. There it is at the bottom there. Whoa. Navi Address, the, the little green one. But I'll put the link below anyway. But I thought I'd share that because, quite simply, it's very, very useful. Things like in, um, in, in Mactan, for example, where the boats are, there's no address there. You can look for it on Google Maps, but if you just put the code in, you can get straight there. Job done. Lots of good things. And that's, that's why I thought, I'm going to share that this morning because when I come across it yet last night, I thought, that's an amazing idea. Thanks for watching.